Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman with an update on our PC build. I have ordered all of the components, so we're ready to go for our live stream pretty soon. I'm not going to uh, get the date set until I know when all of this stuff is going to be here. Right now, everything was in stock uh, and it's shipping, hopefully, uh, and I hope it'll all get here at some time early next week. So probably a little pre-holiday party thing. We'll uh, gather around our computer screens and watch me uh, uh, clumsily build a PC for the first time in like eight years. So hopefully I will not disappoint you. Now, I've made some changes to the build list because I got a lot of great feedback from some folks about some things that I should think about. So I'm going to step through kind of the big parts here. Some things have changed and some things haven't. I'm going to stick with the same GPU. And a lot of you thought this was maybe overkill, which it might be, but I figured I'd get something that's got some, uh, you know, some room for growth. This definitely does. This is the GeForce uh, Power GTX 970. It's a gigabyte uh, card and it looks pretty mean just with all the fans and everything. So uh, we've got that. I get a free game with it also. So that's a, that's a good little perk. And uh, that one costs about $370. That's actually the most expensive part of this PC is the GPU, uh, which is really interesting to see where all this stuff is going. Uh, the next component is the same motherboard we had before. So this is the Asus uh, Z97 Pro. I've never had bad experiences with Asus. So I'm going to kind of stick with the brand loyalty there. So I bought that one. I also bought the same Intel processor I had in the original build list. And I know some of you suggested I go up to that uh, six core i7 processor and it was really tempting, but I would have had to have gone with DDR4 RAM, a different motherboard. Uh, and then when I was looking at uh, the two variations of that six core processor, there was one that had more PCI Express lanes than the other one did. And you know, I probably don't need all those lanes, but I was like, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go for the gusto. And it really was going to blow the budget up. So I'm going to hold myself back, uh, keep myself under budget, or at least at budget or close to it. Uh, and we're going to stick with the quad core. And maybe next year when we do our next PC build, uh, maybe I will do uh, the six core then when we've got a little more experience under our belt here. So we're going to go with this one, and I think it's a, a pretty safe choice. A lot of you said this is going to be just fine. In fact, I could probably do uh, just as well with an i5, but I do some video work, so I wanted to have some uh, flexibility maybe to do a Hackintosh thing or something like that. So I also got a lot of suggestions on the heatsink, and I decided to go, uh, based on your feedback, with the Hydro Series Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. This is another Corsair product, and uh, they said it's a lot quieter than perhaps some of those fan heatsink combinations, and uh, even if I'm not overclocking, it will uh, keep the CPU a little bit cooler perhaps than otherwise. And I've heard nothing but good things about this, a lot of good things about this device. So I'm going to go with this. First time I've I had a liquid cooler, but the cool thing is, is that, uh, pardon the pun, uh, is that all of the liquid is self-contained. I don't have to pour anything in. There's nothing for me to do that I would screw up. So it's basically a, you know, a sealed in little system that will uh, liquid cool without me having to take any of the liquid in and put it in. So that was a good thing uh, for me because I would certainly break something if I had to do that. I also changed the case. So I was going with a, a rather, you know, kind of uh, un unassuming uh, case from Corsair. I ended up going with this one from Corsair. This one uh, is a little bit bigger. Uh, it's got a lot better airflow, um, at least from what I'm reading, than the other one I was looking at. And it also had a nice rebate also. So it was a $20 rebate uh, for the next two weeks. So I figured I would just uh, go with this one. It's a little bit of an upgrade from what I was looking at before. Uh, it even has a FireWire port on the front. I don't know if I'm going to use that anymore, but it's got that. So uh, pretty cool. It looks like a neat little case. I like the way it looks, too. It's kind of like a Stormtrooper look. So that was neat. And then I also changed the power supply because a lot of you said uh, go with, actually, most of you <laughs> said go with a modular power supply. So that is what I'm going to do. I uh, figured uh, Corsair has been, uh, you know, been our product of choice here in a few other areas of the PC build, so I may as well uh, buy another piece for uh, the power supply. So this is a modular 750-watt power supply, so I'm doing a little bit more power than I initially planned to do, but I think, again, because we got that big GPU and that big CPU, it's probably uh, safe to just have a little leeway in the power department, and hopefully my power bill won't be uh, so bad when I get this thing up and running. So that is kind of the basic changes from what I did on the first build. Uh, the cost right now to me is about a thousand, almost $1,100. So a little bit more than I was hoping to spend, but you know, I'm putting in some nice stuff here. So uh, this would have cost $1,650, except I had the hard drive, the SSD already. And then I'm also counting in my Discover cashback bonus, uh, the rebate on the case, uh, the fat wallet rebate. You know, if you do a uh, fat wallet and click through to Newegg, you get a 1% uh, bonus uh, rebate on top of everything else. So I uh, get about $18 back on those two rebates. And then I have gift certificates and some credit card points. You know, I'm the worst person to shop for because I just, you know, have a YouTube channel. I just buy everything I'm gonna, <laughs> I ever want. So people just give me gift certificates from time to time. So I've got uh, some gift certificates kind of eating into uh, the overall cost. So we're, we're in a pretty good shape here. I'm really happy with where I ended up. I think I'd like to do a build next year, or maybe you know, shortly after the first of the year, and building the least expensive PC I can find, uh, which would be kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll kind of build a mid-range PC at a you know, pretty decent price. So that is uh, the overall build. Now, I want to get some feedback, though, from you as to 
how exactly we should do the live stream. So we could build the PC on the live stream, which was what I was thinking I was going to do. And then I was thinking about it. Well, we got to install the OS and then put some games on it and everything else. It's going to take a while. Um, so you know, if you want to like sit through the you know the OS installation, uh, I'm happy to do that. I just want to make sure that is okay with you. If you'd like, I can just build it beforehand, and then we start once everything is installed and kind of you know power it up for the first time and get going. So I have a poll at lon.tv slash poll. You can go on there, uh, vote for what you want me to do with it. I'm happy to build it and just kind of run through the entire uh, build process from start to finish. And then, like I said, we can do like a little intermission while uh, things are installing to take some questions from, uh, from viewers. You can call in, maybe do a Google Hangout chat or something like that. Uh, or again, I can just uh, build it beforehand and we can just look at all of the, uh, the outcome of the build. So let me know. And let's uh, get this thing going. So once I have all the parts, at least once I have an idea of when all the parts are arriving and will be here, uh, I will send out a date that, and time that I will be doing the live stream. And of course, I will also have that live stream uh, posted up to YouTube after it's over with so you can watch it in its entirety as well. This is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching.